Hey lovies, welcome back to my cooking channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make an authentic Kenyan sapa. So I'll be making some liver which is maini with some ugali. So without further ado, let's start with this recipe. So the first step, make sure you've cleaned or you've washed your liver. Then afterwards, you're going to remove the outer skin of the liver because we don't really need it. Once you're done removing the outer skin of the liver, then you're going to cut it into small pieces. Then we're going to go ahead and cut our vegetables, some tomatoes, some chili, some bell peppers, onions and carrot into slices. Once you're done preparing your ingredients, then go ahead and put on your gas cooker or your jiko. Then add some oil and add the onions and shallow fry them until slightly golden brown. Once the onions are slightly golden brown, you're going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. You've noticed that my paste has some water, so I immediately added the vegetables and mixed them well. Then you're going to add spices of your choice. I've used some salt, turmeric powder, curry powder, some jumbo and some black pepper and give it a stir. Without not forgetting, we're going to add one cube of roiko. This is an authentic Kenyan dish, so we have to use roiko and add two tablespoons of tomato paste with a bit of water and give it a stir. You're going to add a bit of lime or lemon to add an extra amazing taste to the stew and give it a stir. Lastly, you're going to add the liver and cook it for a maximum of five to seven minutes. You don't want to overcook it because we need the liver to be juicy and your liver stew is ready. In a separate small pot, you're going to add some water and let it cook until it forms some bubbles. Once the water is warm, you're going to add a bit of flour and give it a stir. Once the porridge starts to boil like this, then you're going to add some flour gradually while mixing until you get that firm, soft dough. So personally, I don't like my ugali to be firm. I prefer my ugali to be soft, but some other people, they prefer it to be firm. You can cook your ugali the way you want it, and our ugali is ready. Serve your maini stew with some ugali, and our Kenyan authentic or our Kenyan lunch is ready. So, our food is ready. We have some ugali and some maini, and with the color, it's